She lived the life the way she wanted to And made her dreams come true Hello beautiful being, I'm Trini LaShawn and I'm a spiritual worker, tarot reader, and sound healer. And I'm going to share with you a really wonderful way to cleanse the energy of your home that is very, very important. <clears throat> it's wonderful to first and foremost use protective energies to surround you so that you are not susceptible to low vibrational entities and energies. But sometimes things happen. Sometimes we might not keep our protection up like we hoped to. Or, you know, right now we've got a lot of virtual interaction going on. And so um, a lot of energy can come into your home that way and impact your mood, impact your, your just your overall vibe. And so if you are not cleansing your home, your space of those negative vibrations, they're going to stick around. So a lot of people use um, sage or palo santo to cleanse their home. And these are both tools that I love. I love both of these. However, um, palo santo, if you've ever used it, you already know that it's you have to constantly light it over and over again. And so I like to use Palo Santo for smaller things, like for cleansing my um, gemstones, my crystals in between full moon cleansings and chargings. So I like to use it for that. Also, um, sage. The thing about sage is that it is very, very pungent. So it has a very strong smell. Now, I like it. My husband doesn't. So you might live with somebody that does not really like the strong smell of sage. And also, not quite as often as Palo Santo do you have to light it, but you do have to keep relighting it. So usually what you do is you go through your each room of your home and start in the four corners and say your set your intentions and then work your way to the middle and then go on to the next room of the home. So when you're doing a whole house cleansing, it's really tedious to use either one of those palo santo or sage so what i use is a bahor burner and the benefits of using a bahor burner this is basically an incense burner okay but they originated in the middle east they're still used um, in many middle eastern countries along with the incense that comes with them so i mean you have to purchase it separately but it's the actual bahor this is the bahor and it usually comes in, this one is a little bit broken, but it comes in like, it looks like a chocolate bar. So it looks like that, and then you just break pieces off of it and put it onto the Bahor burner, okay? So um, they use them in Middle Eastern countries to fragrance their homes, and um, for hotel guests, they'll have Bahor burning so that you can fragrance your hair and your, your clothes. So it's, it's really um, an aromatic experience. For me, it's a, an act of self-care when I, when I use this. So not only for ritualistic purposes, but also for self-care because it just smells so good and it's fun and it feels good. Now, um, there are um, several types of Bahor burners that you can use. So this is the old school type. This was the first one that I ever purchased and it has like a little hole in it right there where you would, it's not electric so it uses charcoal so you would light the charcoal it takes a while you would want to hold it with a pair of tongs and hold it over an open flame when we lived in a home that had a gas stove it was perfect so I would take the tongs and hold it and then light it it'll turn bright white when it's ready sort of grayish white and then you just pop it in there with the tongs and whatever it is that you want to burn, whether it's frankincense or myrrh or your actual bahor, um, you just put that on top of it. And it, it fills the whole space with um, the fragrance of whatever it is that you're using. So I'm using this for energetic work, right? So it's perfect because it will fill your entire home with this energy. You don't have to go around and light your palo santo stick or your sage. I love both of them but just not for home cleansings, okay? Not for regular home cleansings. Now, they have other ones, other Bahor burners like this. This one will run you about 10 to 15 bucks. Um, very affordable, but you have to worry about the charcoal and all of that. 
Um, this is the one that I've had for years and years. I love it. And um, this will run you about $20. So it is electric. You just turn it on and then it gets hot and you can put whatever it is that you're burning on top of it. So this is the one that I'm going to be using for the video. I thought I had lost that one because <laughs> we had new flooring put in our home and everything got turned upside down. So I bought this one. This one was about $30, $35 on Amazon. Um, so everything that I'm going to show you between the Bohor burner, if you get like the $20 one and then you use um, like frankincense and myrrh, I'm going to show you some different things to use for the actual cleansing. Um, it'll run you about 40 bucks, okay? But you'll have it and you'll be able to use it for multiple home cleansings. So this one is pretty, it's, it's pretty ornate and it's, a silver color I like it it's very pretty so what you'll do is when you are ready to cleanse your home you'll go through and open up all of the closet doors and all of the um, doors to every room in your home um, now even if you have a large home we have a large home and there is no issue with this this will fill the entire home with the aroma it has that impact of like when somebody walks in the house they're like you baking cookies, you baking, you baking a cake, you know, it, it fills your entire home with the aroma and it's really, really nice. And as you get to know your different um, items that you're using to cleanse, you can adjust it on, you know, your intention and then also the aroma that you want. I usually focus more on the intention, but, you know, with the Bahor itself, the actual incense that you use with it, um, it's going to smell really good. Okay, so what I do is um, you want to go through and um, open up all of the doors to your home so that there's a quick pathway for any negative energy, any crevice or any closet or anywhere where negative energy is lurking um, is going to come out. So you want to open the doors to your home. Go ahead and heat up your Bahor burner. So this is getting hot now. And then, of course, you know, get into your meditative state. I usually do a visualization of um, any negative energy that's in our home. Um, leaving it usually will look like a thick, like sludge, like mud, just oozing out and, and running out, you know, running down the steps, running down, out, 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 whatever pathway I'm directing it out of, um, out of our home. So out the door, right? So get your visualization going. And um, as this is heating up, you can work on that. And then what I do is I make a base. And my base is um, with frankincense and myrrh. So if you have never used these before, you've probably heard of them. Um, they're very popular with like the Christmas story and everything, right? So, but they are very powerful, very powerful. So like this frankincense comes in the form of resin as well as the myrrh, okay? The myrrh comes in a resin as well. But you can also purchase myrrh in an essence oil. Okay, so whichever way you prefer. I You can use oils on the burner. You can use um, like dried herbs on the, on the burner and resins and oils and, and petals, whatever it is that you're using, okay? You can, you can use it. Just stay with it. Don't leave it burning by itself. <laughs> So the first thing I do is I lay a bed of frankincense on there. Frankincense and myrrh are both very cleansing and healing and purifying as well. So I'm going to put that on there. And then immediately because it's hot, it's going to start burning. So you can, you'll see the smoke start rising up from there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of myrrh on there as well. And myrrh is really good also for your immune system, for colds, for coughs. Um, and also for insomnia, it's good for that as well. Okay. So of course you're thinking of your intention. My home is cleansed of all negative low vibrational energy. All low vibrating energy and entities must leave this home immediately. They, you know, and I usually do a, a visualization of it leaving my home and sinking down into Gaia, into mother earth to be transmuted into divine love and rising up and a whole transmutation process. But that's for me. Um, if that works for you, 
roll with it, you know, use it. But if you use a different visualization process for your cleansing, then that's fine. So I'm going to sprinkle some myrrh on there as well. Okay. Then I'm going to use my incense. So that's my behor. Okay. So all you're going to do with that, and it smells so good. The frankincense and myrrh alone smells really good. But I'm going to sprinkle some, um, some behor on there. You can just break it. You see how it breaks off like that? And you can just take it and crumble it up. I'm going to move this over a little bit. And you want to keep your intention really strong in your mind. So as you're crumbling this up, just think of, um, you know, the smoke going into every nook and cranny of your home and ridding your home of all low vibrational entities and energies. And it helps also to think of the negative energy as an object in some sort of way. For me, it's like sludge, like mud, and it just oozes out of the house, right? Um, and then you can also use, now this is optional. You can use, like I use pine needles for purification. So every year when we have our Christmas tree, I'm like, wait, 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 don't take it out yet. Don't throw it away yet. I gotta get my pine needles, my pine needles. So I'll just sprinkle some of these on there as well. They're very purifying. And that's a really nice way to um, use, have another use for your Christmas tree, right? If you, if you have a Christmas tree. So I sprinkle that on there. Um, now I do want to say, I like to um, leave mine out. So like after I snip them off the Christmas tree, I leave them out a little bit so they can dry real good. And then I just yank them off of the branch and put them in there. Okay, but you can use those for purifying and cleansing. And then I also like burdock root. So burdock root is very good for psychic protection. Um, if you feel that you're being sent any negative energy from anyone, this is going to get it. And of course, with your intention, um, and you can even, not just in your home, but you can say all inhabitants of this home are protected and our thoughts are purified and we vibrate on a high vibrational, on a high vibration, a high frequency of love, divine love. Um, and so that's, that's pretty much it for the cleansing. If you want to, you can use your myrrh. So I use the myrrh resin or you can use the oil. So you can put oils on there as well. Um, and it takes a little while to come out because it's very thick. But, um, what you want to do is allow this to, there we go. Allow this to smoke up really well. And it's going to fill your entire home, your entire home. And then when you're comfortable, when you're ready, you can open a door. So like I do this on the main level of my home. I do this on my ki in my kitchen. And so when I'm comfortable, when I feel it's time, once the negative energy has built up and it's all ready to just go out of my house, I open up my kitchen door and I direct it out. Neighbors are thinking I'm crazy. I don't care. <laughs> So, and I'm, you can state your intention as many times as you need to. Get that visualization, that image in your mind of all negative energy. If something has been going on, if you've been bickering with your partner, if your kids have been arguing with each other or whatever, if you've been like super tired and just you don't know why, but you know that this negative energy is impacting you, think about that. Think about it transforming into this. You know, whatever it is, whether it's sludge or whatever, just leaving your home, leaving your home. And I like to take it a step further and it seeps down into Mother Earth to be transmuted, loved on by Mother Gaia, Mother Earth, and transmuted into positive high vibrational energy. Okay. Um, now, what I do after that is I wait a little bit and I'll usually do the... Like di I direct the negative energy out about two or three times. And then I, on top of this, once this has burned for a little while, um, I will put something that I want to infuse my home with. Okay. So this is burning. It usually takes about 30 minutes for me to do the cleansing. Um, so maybe after about 20 minutes, I'll put... Um, I really like to use lavender oil because it's for peace and calm and tranquility. 
So I'll put some of that on top of it and I'll state my intention. Uh, this home is filled with positive vibrations of calm, tranquility, and peace. All of the inhabitants in this home vibrate on a frequency of peace and calm. We get along with one another. We speak to each other with kind words and with peace. Okay? So you've got that going. So that's for um, if there's like strife or something like that. I, I really love to use lavender just because I've always loved lavender. It's so great for healing. Like if you have a cut or something like that, you can put your essential oil right on there. Um, and then also you can use like rosemary. Rosemary is very good for women. Um, it's very good for memory, but it's also very good for women living in our divine feminine energy and um, sort of living in our full feminine power. Okay, so I vibrate on a frequency of beautiful femininity. I have good memory and I am beautiful. I radiate beauty and confidence. Um, you can use, let's see... Oh, I, I like to collect azalea from my garden, and azalea is really good for happiness. I call it my happy herb. You might call another herb the happy herb too, but <laughs> um, that's azalea also. But anyway, um, you can take your petals if you have, if you collect herbs and dry them, you can take that and just crumple it on there and put that on there. Everyone in my home vibrates on a frequency of joy and happiness. Okay? So you just let that burn. And usually, I don't recommend leaving it unattended, but I will, because I've, I've done it so for so long that I know, you know, that it's okay. So then I'll just kind of stay in the area. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love it. I'll kind of stay in the area, but then like just do something around the house, you know, just do something. And um, it is, it's just so relaxing. It fills the home with such a beautiful aroma. Now, um, once you're done with your cleansing, um, you'll want to just clean this out. You can wipe it out. Some people, usually the before burners will come with a little tray. And so some people get really like, um, you know, neat about their before burner and they'll like line it with aluminum foil. I ain't got time for all that. So I just use it on the actual burner, but I've never had any issues with it. Um, I use, I've used this one for years and I've never had an issue, but when it does get like caked up on there, I'll scrape it off with a tool or something like with a screwdriver. Um, but I also recommend using the before burner if you do rituals to honor um, an energy, an entity, or a deity. Then you can um, lay down, instead of doing the protective or like the um, cleansing herbs, you can lay down your frankincense and your myrrh. They make a really good base for anything, whether you're doing a cleansing or if you are honoring a deity. Um, you can lay those down or just one or the other. I really love frankincense, so I always use that. And then you can put on top of it, like I have um, my, where is it? My Yemaya oil. So this is an oil that I created um, in honor of Yemaya, both to invoke her and to honor her. And so on top of the frankincense and myrrh, you can put like white flowers or blue flowers or whatever it is that the entity that you are honoring likes and then um, put your oil on there so if you have an oil for them you know you just put a little bit of that on there and then you can meditate on the energy of that entity and um, let their energy wash over you and also use that as a time to honor them and to reflect on them um, you might do a mantra while you're letting the incense burn you can make it as mystical as you want. I love this. I love this. I love this. And um, yeah, so I think that's it. Before burners. I love them. <laughs> so I hope that this was helpful to you. And I wish you peace, joy, and many blessings. Take care.